I think it's something in a way whose time has come. There's a series of things. One, we have uh, fantastic uh, legacy networks, but they need to be developed because at borders or at key hubs or otherwise, they are partly a patchwork and not fully a network yet. So part is the, the switch in planning and development to networking. Partly is to recognise we have a big legacy in Europe of existing facilities and there are ways to optimise what we already have. Another part is new technology that allows us to connect in terms of information and flows of goods and persons into better management. And so all of these things from patchwork to network, information flows and logistic streams as they talk about really can be facilitated in a way in the 21st century that neither technology nor logistical planning foresaw or really allowed some years ago. I think there are two parts. One, there is a fantastic number of uh, member states connected, more than 50. Uh, I met at a ministerial meeting more than 27, I think, ministers present. So it is consciousness raising, planting the seeds of an idea. And I think in a certain way, the key contribution of the International Transport Forum is about planting ideas, making connections, and a little bit sharing and learning, because some people are more advanced in some parts of this journey than others. Well, I've been moderating some sessions, and so I've had a particular kind of overview. And I haven't come with a minister's expectation. But I found in particular working in one of the closed session working groups with 10 participants, a high level of exchange, a high level of openness, and people actually agreed in principle to some things during the meeting that they hadn't been thinking about before they came. Now that seems to me to be pretty impressive and for that reason I must say uh, I'm going away with a very positive experience from Leipzig.